We'll wait for a couple, couple people to come. Sure. <laughs> oh, I need a beer. What am I doing? What are you doing? I sit down what already without a beer. What are you doing? Beer. That's terrible. Oh, I had a beer. Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh -huh. Cooler, cooler. <laughs> Some weird owl. Oh, yeah. So which hot sauce are you most excited about tonight? Oh, um, well, the two new ones, but Shaquanda, really. I think that we should do Shaquanda first. You think um, so? And here's why, because um, it's one that we really are both, like, most excited, excited about, about. Yeah. And we've been holding out for it for a while. Well, and I you... almost got it for you for Christmas, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. And so I don't want, like, our taste buds to be ruined um, by going, like, through and, like, yeah. saving it for last. Well, so why don't we, do not we do this first and frolic last, maybe? Or no? No, let's do this and then frolic. Let's, let's do the two ones that you've never had before. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Um, do we need a plate or anything? Oh, shit. A little plate? Oh yeah, that was good. Alright. Okay. Hot sauce. So, do you want to introduce yeah. our first hot sauce? Oh, I guess my... Uh... <laughs> hey, did you know I was live? <laughs> did I know that you were live? Did, did you know that? I knew you were live. Okay. We got Shaquanda. Shaquandas. It's uh, from Hot Ones. We've both been wanting to try this for a while. Uh, be the queen of your kitchen, willing to please, eager to burn. Mm -hmm. Shaquanda. Um, let's see. Can you handle it? Mm. Of course you can. A balanced blend of fire and flavor. Shaquanda's hot pepper sauce is sure to satisfy all your secret desires. What are the ingredients? Ingredients. Onion. White vinegar, apple cider vinegar, chili pepper, tomato paste, um, demerara sugar, demerara sugar, uh, lemon juice, sea salt, ginger juice, ginger juice, horseradish, mustard powder, turmeric powder. So I've read that this tastes like a McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> That's what I read. Did you shake it up? I didn't. You know what? Here, let me, let me shake it up and get this thing off. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I am too. A hey, good thing we got. I bought a trash over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Shaquandas. Let's see. Let's see what it smells like. It smells like McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> it, smells, it smells like a McDouble. Oh my god. All right, I'm going to pour some on the plate, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I prefer to dip. I gotcha. Then to just pour it over and hope. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I'm, I just have bad it. I'm going to use one of these guys. Okay. I'm going to probably pour too much out. That's fine. I'm going to do a flat. We'll do one of these. Flat. Okay. All right. I don't feel like I got enough on there. It's I know. I don't either. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. some kick. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried because I think it was in the mid range of the Hot Ones lineup when it was mm -hmm. on. It came, I think it came right before Los Calientes. Yeah. Um, you know what? Hmm? I'm sure it depends on what you eat it on. Mm -hmm. But the smell, mm -hmm. totally. Mm -hmm. Well, it smells like McDonald's special sauce. Mm hmm. You know? mm -hmm. And there is a meatiness in there. Mm -hmm. But on the wing, I don't get that. It's not the first no, thing I, I thought little, I get a little bit of that on the wing. But the spice mm -hmm. kind of offsets it for sure. I'm probably mm -hmm. going to have to do more of that one. Like a, like on another mm -hmm. wing of that in a bit. It's good, though. Yeah, it was good, yeah. It's it really doesn't taste one. like any hot sauce that I have. No. Throughout it's, we have. It's completely original, for sure. Man, oh man. Got some salad. 
Mmm. It's like garbage. Mmm. Mmm. Why, thank you. Mmm. Keep looking at you. Alright. Mmm. Diana asked me to talk about something that's been going on. <laughs> oh, nobody's watching. One mm. person's watching. Mm. It's um, it's his buck dancer moment. Corey's been, having a buck dancer moment. I've been scamming Amazon. a certain. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna straight up say what? What if they sue me? <laughs> Sorry. We shouldn't use the word scam because I'm really not doing anything no, wrong. No, you're not scamming them at all. You're you're just playing them for their own mistake so, over and over and over. Again. Amazon has a pet food, a thing you can buy pet food for on Prime Now, and they have it all listed wrong. Um, if I buy an eight pack of food, cat food, cat food, they send me one can. And some of it's priced properly, some of it's priced really low. I'm like, there's no way that this 24 pack costs $2 of wet food, but they advertise it as a 24 pack. So I just keep buying this stuff, and um, I think we've done it three times now. And just, you know, if they send me the right thing that I ordered, then I, I'll, I'll pay for it. But they mm -hmm. don't. They don't send it to me. Never. There's one of them that says it's an eight-pack of cans. Comes out to like four bucks, so way more than a single can. So it should be right. And I order it, and they send me one can of cat food for my kitties. And then I just asked for my refund because it yeah. was supposed to be an eight pack. Mm -hmm. So for the last few weeks, I've gotten, oh, I think I've gotten about $150 worth of cat food <laughs> for probably about 20 bucks. Like, cause you know, some of it they refund, some of it they don't. I'm never going to ask them to refund, refund the tip for the person that delivers it. But you've also told them like change this. So it's yeah. Right. I've sent them messages saying, look, you have this advertised <laughs> as an eight pack. You have it priced correctly. Yet you don't, and, and, and if I wanted to buy the eight pack, you know, if, if it really was supposed to be single cans, well, you don't even have eight <laughs> as, um, as an option for amount of cans to buy. Yet it says in the description that it's an eight pack of cans. Mm -hmm. So I just keep buying it and then getting it for free because they don't want it back. <laughs> I don't know. It's, you're just, you're going to stick it to Amazon mm -hmm. until they change. Screw Amazon. Are you ready for but, this next But they one? have really helped us. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Next sauce. Frolic. Diana picked this out. We were each okay. picking out a... Uh, we had a few sauces that we hadn't done in our sauce lineups yet. Our, our, our sauce videos. Mm -hmm. And so we each bought one that we wanted to get. Do you for this one? Yes, right here. Okay. Mm. So I got the uh, Shaquanda's. Which was delicious. Featured on Hot Ones. Yeah. And this is Frolic. And usually there's like a little... No. What you can also do is this, though. So I don't know. I might have scissors. They might be resiny scissors. I don't know if that's good. Resin scissors? Mm-hmm. I can usually just get it off that way with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let, right. me, let me do it. Let me reshake it. This stuff separates really quickly, so... The garlic one? Yeah, so I gotta get the lid out. Okay. Excuse me. Uh-oh. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. No. Nobody did. You were totally... Nobody saw it. Alright. Alright. Yeah, look at how quickly it separated. I already yeah. shook it, too. That means this stuff's gonna have a lot in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Do you want to read the ingredients? Frolic? Frolic? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see. Okay, frolic. A truffle oil-infused garlic sauce, hot sauce, crafted for those of quality, blah, blah, blah. We don't need that. All right, ingredients, vinegar, truffle oil, tomatoes, applewood smoked garlic, fresh garlic, roasted garlic, habanero, ancho, diarbo, smoked serrano, aji, garlic, or is it aji? Aji? Garlic, onion, salt, xanthan gum. What's aji? Is that a pepper or is that something else? I A-J-I? I don't know what that is. Yeah. I right, think let's... it's interesting though that this one has so many peppers and the other one is a pepper sauce, oh. but it only had like one pepper. It smells like a vinaigrette. Well, let's... That smells like Worcestershire oh, yeah. to me. Let, me. let me shake it a little okay. bit more before we... All right, let's put a little bit on here. All right. This is, this is thin. Runny. This is a runny sauce. You could see yeah. a lot of oil in that sauce. 
There's a lot of oil. I'm going to do a flat again. All right. I'm going to do a flat as well. I'm excited. I'm excited to try this. Yeah. I thought it smelled like Worcestershire. You didn't think so? Really? So, like, mm -hmm. so you see, to me, Worcestershire smells like steak sauce, and I didn't get that. Mm. Oh, man. What is that? Is it the garlic? Something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Mm. All right. I need to process this. I need a little bit extra. <laughs> it's very steak saucy to me. Really? Mm-hmm. No? Mm -mm. What do you get from it? It's not hot at all. I did. But it's built as mm -mm. medium, right? But it's not. What's crazy is there's like five different types of pepper in there. Mm -hmm. And there's habaneros in there. Mm -hmm. But it's not sweet like most habanero sauces. No. That's so weird. It's definitely not sweet. Um, okay, right off the bat, just flavor-wise, for something I could eat every day, mm -hmm. I like this better than Shaquanda. Really? Not steak saucy to me. It mm -hmm. smells like a vinaigrette, but when I taste it, it's almost got like a smoky, mm -hmm. like a real thin barbecue flavor to it. Like this would be a perfect marinade. Mm -hmm. It's even the consistent of a marinade, consistency of a here. marinade. It's this frolic garlic sauce. And I know it's hard mm -hmm. to see how oily it is, but it's, it's, the oil separates really oh, no. easily. Oh, okay. Oh, they yeah, reconnected. All right. So it's just kind of, kind of like oily, but... Frolic. Hmm. And this one was like six bucks. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fairly cheap and got it on Prime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just, um, no, that's good. To me, I, I would use this as like a marinade or like, you could use this as steak sauce. Like, I don't think it tastes mm -hmm. like steak sauce, but I think it would make a great steak sauce. But you didn't get like any Worcestershire from it at all? No, because really? to me, Worcestershire just tastes like A1. Hmm. But like a thinned out A1. With Worcester, I get that steak sauce taste. Well, that one, it had like that, but no tang. It wasn't like tangy yeah. the way a steak sauce is. But no. it had all the like savory elements. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Mm -hmm. I would use that. Mm -hmm. um, see, I think the thing with the Shaquandas is, I don't think that's a wing sauce. Mm. I think Shaquandas... What would I use that in? Eggs? No, you know what? I would dip something in that. I would dip like chicken nuggets or something. That Eggs would be good, mm. but like on a wing with the bone Speaking and everything. Something of, on... we need to get that hot mustard out and use oh some of that. Oh my God, that's the, that's the bonus sauce. Mm -hmm. For all that don't know, McDonald's <laughs> does have hot mustard, and we found that out. Yeah, so when I went to Hong Kong, that was like the sauce that they advertised. And I didn't know that McDonald's just carried it everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then um, some friends of mine told me that they have it here too. So I just always get the hot mustard. Yep. Now. Always. Forever. I just stock up on it. Yeah. It's so good. It's real good. What All do you right. want to do, Yak? You pick. Let's do this one. All right. So this is Lucky Dog. Um, this is Cherry Chipotle hot sauce. Cherry Chipotle. Um, this sauce was an exclusive to the Fuego box. So only people who subscribe to the Fuego box could get it, but we mm -hmm. went to a um, we went to a hot sauce convention where we uh, where we got it. Oh, oh the wait, hot mustard. Was that the one at Empire Comics? <laughs> this was at Empire Comics. So mm -hmm. okay. this is the dude with the mohawk that wasn't that great of a dude. Um, mm -hmm. who was uh, he tried to tell Spanky what uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what <laughs> how, how he shouldn't eat the hot hot sauce first. Yeah. You don't tell people what they should and shouldn't do. If the man wants the hottest hot sauce, let the man have the hottest hot sauce. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want the build up. Come on, mm -hmm. it's bull crap, nope. man. Well, I kind of feel the same way too. If if you're if you're like a chili head mm -hmm. and you want something spicy, just give me the, give me the damn spicy one. Mm -hmm. What did mouth say? Hot mustard plus double cheeseburger. Yeah, but you missed it because we we ate Shaquandas and this stuff literally smells and tastes mm -hmm. like mcdonald's hamburger it does and i read that about it first and i and i read so many people said it 
that I I was like, God, I have to try and forget about this because it's all I'm gonna think about. But literally, first thing I smelled when I when I opened it, it smells the sauce smells like a McDonald's hamburger. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like something about the if it's like what's in the secret sauce or it has like a meaty taste too. It does. I'm Anyways, this stuff. Yeah, this is the mm -hmm. cherry cherry chipotle. We got it because we went to the hot sauce convention, so that was cool. And lucky mm -hmm. um, lucky dog hot sauces were there. And this is the one I liked the most. They had so many hot sauces, and I was just kind of like, mm -hmm. eh, for a lot of them. But I like Chipotle. Well, I think the salesman wasn't... He yeah, was, he was a he... shitty salesman. Yeah. Dude was a crappy salesman that, that uh, but but I still wanted to buy something from him. Spanky was like, no, Spanky was like, I'm not buying nothing from him. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Uh, pretty much, but yeah, screw that dude. That well, was there. That dude. That shirt. dude sucked he so made bad. Fun of my shirt, he made fun of her shirt. Mm -hmm. He tried to tell Spanky he couldn't eat the hottest hot sauce. That dude. That dude wasn't a very no. good salesman. No. I don't know. I still bought something because I wanted to. All right. Um. What I'm, I'm gonna do a. You wanna I'm do a flat do, again? I'm gonna do another flat. I'm I'm really into the flats. You really into the flats? All right. I'm gonna do a big drumstick. I got this drumstick with all this extra stuff on it. Mm-hmm. All right. So, you wanna put do it on the plate again? Yeah. All right. This stuff is smoky. Oh wait. You want me to read the? Yeah. Some of them. Mm -hmm. So this is um. Let's see. This is cherry cherry chipotle. This is uh, water, apple cider vinegar, onion, meco chipotle pepper, cherry concentrate, agave syrup, lime juice, sea salt, granulated garlic, powdered onion, spices. That's good. I like this stuff, and I know it's going to be good on wings, which I haven't tried, tried it. I'm a little it. nervous because I'm not a fan of, like, a cherry or, like, a super chipotle sauce either. You know. So, um, we'll just see how this goes. Uh, yeah, I'd say think about it more as when, when they say there's like cherry and like a barbecue sauce or oh, something like that. Oh, no, mine time. Oh, it's oh, working again? I got, yeah, it's giving me all kinds of That's errors right. tonight. You want to go, you want to dip um, first? Okay, so how would you say this was on the heat scale when you had it? I don't remember this being that hot. Okay. This was like a medium, but we'll, we'll you know, we're going to find out. Mm-hmm. Right, Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually better than I would have thought. Mm hmm I think so far, that might be my favorite one tonight. Really? It's just surprising. I wouldn't have bought it if it, if I thought it, it you know, if it actually tasted like cherries. Mm hmm I think it just added, like, a sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. Um, Matt said something. Uh-oh. I don't know. What? No, I want to do that. Uh, I thought about making hot sauce for this next video. I thought we were going to do this video next week because I didn't think mm -hmm. the sauces would come that quick. Mm -hmm. So my plan was to make it for next one. I think we're going to do two hot sauces or two of these videos a month. One a month, two months. We were thinking once a month, actually. Once a month. Mm -hmm. um, but I do want to try and make my own. It's easy. Mm -hmm. There's three different ways you could do. You can cook it. You can do raw hot sauce, and you can do fermented. And all of them are pretty easy. And we have all the stuff because you've been fermenting stuff. Well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she's been making kombucha. Mm -hmm. We have all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you've been doing like the quick pickle. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I made. I made pickled daikon and carrots for bomb me mm -hmm. sandwiches. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. There's a lot of extra stuff on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's quite the, the drumstick. It was there. the one that was taking the longest okay. to cook. I'm just going to do a little... Um... That stuff's pretty good, ma'am. Okay. I did hate that guy as a salesman. That's pretty good, though. But it's pretty good hot it sauce. Is, it is, yeah. And it, I, I'm like... I'm, I'm like... I'm hesitant to always use it because I know once it's gone, I'm not going to be able to get it again. Right. And oh, I've, wait. What, that was only... Um, uh, con exclusive, uh, hot sauce. So it was a it was a Fuego box exclusive, which oh, is a which is one of those uh, hot sauce delivery monthly things. But that one he yeah. brought it. It said on it that it was exclusive to the Fuego box, but we could buy it at the co convention. Mm -hmm. And it was also the one that yeah. I really liked from Lucky Dog. So I was like, well, that's the Lucky Dog, like the Cherry Chipotle. I picked it out so and then read that it was the exclusive one. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> oh my. <laughs> good. All right. What's well, next? Good. What's next? Do you want um, a secret artwork next? I've had this one. I kind of want to save it for the end. It's the hottest out of these, yeah, I believe. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Um. So what's next? Do you want to do... Uh, let's do this one. Let's do the Queen Majesty. Let's go. All right, so we got Queen Majesty Jalapeno Tequila Lime mm -hmm. Hot Sauce. I bought this because mm -hmm. there's a kind of hot sauce called Floyd and Fred's Hot Lime that uh, Justin Pine got me putting in my uh, beer. Mm. It's delicious in beer. And I've been going through it, but I wanted to see if there was a little bit thicker kind of sauce. And I bought this one. Doesn't taste good in beer at all. Yeah. So now it's just another hot sauce that we got. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to try something by Queen Majesty. They have the coolest labels. Super cool. Hell yeah. Talk to you later, buddy. Love you. So this one, you tell me what you smell, first of all. Well, I'm trying to reconnect. It did it. I did. I did it. It's, it smells lemony. It's lemony. I see, that's what I think. I can get garlic and, and there's garlic. there's like an herb and... scent. Like, like, it's kind yeah. of herbal. And then, yeah, there's definitely like a, a citrus kick in there. What are For the like... ingredients? Let's see. So, mm -hmm. first of all, I just I just really like the label, Queen Majesty. I they, they have a they have a habanero. Uh, they have a coffee habanero one too. Or is it habanero and coffee, or is it chipotle and coffee? Anyways, they have a coffee one, which I really want to try. I haven't seen people put coffee in a hot sauce yet. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so is there an actual? Oh, here are the ingredients. Organic white vinegar, jalapeno peppers, onions, lime juice, apple cider vinegar, um, with mother, white tequila, garlic, green apple, ginger root, olive oil, salt, and spices. Okay. Th so, that, okay, so is this the second one with ginger root tonight? Because Shaquanda had it, too. Oh, Shaquanda had ginger root in it, too? Oh, was it Shaquanda or was it... I don't know. I cannot taste ginger in any... Anytime it's hot sauce, it says ginger. Because I'm not... You know, I, I'm not a huge ginger yeah. guy. It's really got to be cooked down. But, like... Yeah, I, I cannot had, taste um, ginger. Had ginger and horseradish, which is what I think really amps up the heat on that. Because it only has one chili pepper in yeah. it compared to, like, some of the others. Yeah. Also... People put all these weird peppers in these, and I really like jalapenos. I think jalapenos taste awesome because mm -hmm. right? they have the flavor of a bell pepper but heat to them. Mm -hmm. And I like the way bell peppers taste. So, I mean, I like them. I'd say jalapenos and habaneros are my favorite peppers. Mm -hmm. Chipotles right, are chipotles are great, too. So, Queen Majesty. Queen Majesty. What was the name of that book that we listened to when we went to Reno? Oh my god, I can't remember the name of it. But it was, it was all about it was hot awesome. sauce competitions. It was yeah, weird. it was a good book. Alright. Let's see. Okay. It looks like there's a lot going on in this. I mean... Yeah. It does. It It's definitely thick. I could see why this wouldn't be good to put in your beer compared no. to the hotline. <laughs> Cheers. Alright, I need to do Pour a little on. Mm. That one is the first one that has a real. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Shaquanda had vinegary. It reminded me of something right away, and then it went right on my head. What it reminded me of. Mm. That has the strongest vinegar taste out of all of them tonight so far. I went back for a little Shaquanda just to make sure, but that tastes like something really specific, and it's on the tip of my tongue. Mm. Literally. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. What do you think? What am I like? thinking? That lemony. Let me put some on my finger. Do it. There's a sweetness in there, too. All right. I do taste ginger in this. I do taste okay. ginger. When I taste it by okay, itself... Okay, go back for some Shaquanda and see what you... See. Compare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because those, those two so far, I think, have the most similar flavor. 
Because the cherry chipotle was super different, and the garlic one was very different. This, I taste garlic, I taste l l some kind of citrus, lemon, or lime, mm -hmm. and I taste, um, I do taste, um... The ginger? Ginger, and that's why it didn't work in, as, like, a beer, mm -hmm. beer or hot sauce, or, like, in Bloody Marys or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not a flavor that so, I would do for that. No ginger for beer. But it's, beers. it's really good, though. Mm-hmm. It's good on wings. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, I think so, too. No. I still think got? that cherry chipotle is like the winner for me so far tonight. Yeah. Which is surprising because I don't like either of those flavors yeah. very much. So let's try the Thai, Thai green okay. chili. Okay. Now this one on Hot Ones in the lineup, isn't it supposed to be, is this supposed to be hotter or less hot than Los Calientes? I think it was hotter, but mm. Los Calientes Rojos is hotter People say, here, I'm just, I'll am just i pour it over it for you so you don't get a bunch of big mix. Oh, you're going to pour over on yeah, I'll do it for you. Is that okay? Wing, yeah. Uh -oh, I'm going to touch all the wings because I want a flat. That's fine. You can do the flats. That's fine. Oh, I want a flat. I got a flat. Okay. okay. Do, it. do you want me to pour over for you? I can do it. Okay. You, that pour is kind of thick. It's on the thick side. Here. All right. I was going to say, give me... Yeah. Here. Oh, this is what we're trying. Oh, I didn't even read it. Well, this one I'll read it afterwards. How about that? Okay. There's no real method to this. I'm just eating. Oh, yeah, Joe, we've got some mac and cheese and we have some salads. We haven't even touched the mac and cheese really yet. We also okay, have oat we've milk. Got a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. I, I had a bite. We have we got oat milk too if we really want it, but yeah. and Cheers. oat milk works really well. It does. Right. Mm. Mm. So you can really taste like basil in there. Is there basil in that? It's lemongrass. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And cilantro. Mm-hmm. So. Very herbal. You know what? I do like this. I think I said I didn't when we got it, but it was because mm -hmm. it was way different than I was thinking it was going to taste. Mm -hmm. It was way more herbal. And generally, I don't like herbal tasting stuff. I do love cilantro. Mm -hmm. Now, I hated it as a kid. Thought it tasted like soap. Changed at some yeah. point in time. I feel like you could just but, put this in like rice as a sauce. And yeah. Just, mm -hmm. Or maybe even like add it to like a like a vinaigrette or something for a salad. Mm-hmm. Um. Not my favorite, but I think it's. It's better than I remember it being. I would eat this. Oh, mm -hmm. there is basil in it too. Okay, so come mm -hmm. on. All right. Okay. Fresh lemongrass, green chilies, cilantro, basil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Um, so I don't like to read their little no their little um, mission statements or whatever. They all have one I on know. them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it says medium. I'd say, I mean... No. There's no way that this is hotter than... This might be hotter than um, Green Los Calientes. Mm -hmm. But the Rojo Los, Cal Los Calientes is hot. I don't think that's hot at all. It's this, and this not, was after not it, I think. Not even compared to anything we've had. Like, this no, is like this is the weakest the we've had heat. tonight. Mm -hmm. So, white vinegar, water, lime... Well, lime juice, sorry. Thai ginger... Green Thai chilies, garlic, cilantro, shallots, lemongrass, basil, salt, coconut flakes, coconut sugar, coriander, cumin, white pepper. What? You look confused. It says coriander and it says cilantro. It's the same, well, it's no, the but, same no, thing. No, coriander is the seed, right? Well, not if you go to England. Oh... Maybe not not if not if you're Indian. All their bases. Oh. oh, sorry, basil. <laughs> There's basil in it. Uh, no, but and, and it's cumin. Isn't cumin like? Mm -hmm, wow. mm -hmm. Isn't it ground coriander? You know what? I don't really know. I don't know. Cumin to me tastes nothing like any of that stuff, mm -hmm. but I'm sure it has it in it. Somebody will tell us. Joe says, "Fuck yeah." Mm -hmm. ah. All right. All right. We're saving Secret Aardvark, which I just got a brand new bottle of, but uh, it's at my house. Because it actually, it for, Secret Aardvark is going to be the hottest out of all of these. Mm -hmm. I'm like, which one else, which which other one was actually kind of hot? Shaquanda's? 
just want to have a kick. Um, little kick. Here, I'll put these in the box too, so we have a little bit extra room. Oops. Um, I mean, I would say Shaquanda's was probably the hottest so far tonight. Yeah. Shaquanda's might have been the hottest. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to do Gringo Bandito green sauce. I love mm -hmm. this stuff. I don't know if it's going to be that great of um, a wing sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm used to it on pizza because they have it at Holy Diver. And you said this was like the Offspring Oh yeah, it's, it's uh, Dexter Holland from Offspring. He's actually on the, he's on the bottle. Oh. He's pretty fly for a white guy. Goodness. All right, that was stupid. All right, I've got a flat for myself. A flat. A flat. Pour a little bit over. Okay. Oh, this has, this has the, um, what's it called? The, um, I learned what it's called. It's called, it called a, um, it's called a, a pore regulator, oh. I believe, something like that. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. To there's help a, you not, like, totally mess well, it up. Well, there's a hot, so a, hot tub, a hot sauce hot tub. There's a hot sauce there's a hot reviewer sauce. on YouTube that I like to watch, okay. and he rips these off. He's like, I don't want that on there because he likes to drink straight from the bottle. Mm -hmm. He's also the one that taught me to use a, not, not a metal spoon if you're doing it on a spoon. Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh man, mm. I love that shop. This one isn't too far off from the Queen Majesty. They have a very similar flavor to me. They do. I like this better. Mm hmm. All well, the green sauces kind of have a similar flavor, mm -hmm. except that. Thai one with the basil, that basil really stands out. What upset me was, the Queen Majesty I got, because it's tequila, lime, jalapeno, so mm -hmm. I'm thinking Mexican. Instead, I get a lot of ginger in mm -hmm. it, and a little bit of citrus, but doesn't really taste like lime. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't say anything about lime or anything, it's just a green sauce, and this tastes like a green sauce, with it meaning that it's just kind of like that, but this doesn't have the... um. The ginger in it. And you know what? Mm -hmm. That actually is a little hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of a kick to that. There is. It sneaks up on you, too. That's not like... Yeah. A, like, Shaquanda was more of a front-forward, like, hotness. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And there was, like, a tang that went with it yeah. immediately. It's also hard to tell which one's the one that's sneaking up on you because we're eating them back-to-back. -back. No, it's this mm -hmm. one for sure. Mm. You know what? Mm hmm Let me read about it. Mm hmm So... I mean, this is a hot sauce. You, I like, we got this at Smart and Final. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can buy it in stores. It's weird, it's a habanero hot sauce, but I don't taste habaneros. You know what? It has a little burn. Mm -hmm. Water, habanero peppers, serrano peppers, more peppers, it vinegar. It says more peppers? It says more peppers. <laughs> Vinegar, salt, mojo, spices, garlic, and xanthan gum. Literally read that. It says more peppers. I might I might need a little bit of oat milk. A little bit? Yeah, especially if we're going to go right into the secret art park. Uh-oh, my phone just stopped. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oat milk. Well, that's the end of my feed. You want to try and bring it back up? <laughs> nah, I'll just leave it on yours. Hot sauce, cut off. Here you go. Here's the last of that. I don't know if the video even saved. I'm just gonna post it. Let me wash my hands real quick. <clears throat> All right. All right, anybody on this? Yeah. Come Hi. to this. There's one person still. <laughs> the spanky there. Oh, thank you for being here. Oh, no. I got you a little mm -hmm. bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was good. Mm -hmm. That was a gringo bandito. That's way better than I uh, than I thought it was going to be. What, is it bad? Has it gone bad? I think so. It didn't say that it was bad. It said Try it still it. had another month. Just taste it. Just taste it. Maybe it's just the kind of oat milk. Oh. I'll Does that taste glass. good to you? Um, 
tastes like oat milk. To me, there's like this like... <laughs> You're like, no. I'll get you some better stuff. Said it was good for another like month and a half. Are people gonna really get to watch me struggle to open something? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Here, oh, is, is that not, was that not the new one? That was the no, old one? No, it was the other one. Oh, that makes so much sense then. I was like, I just bought that. I see. Yeah, the consistency seemed a little off too. Uh-oh. Well, okay, sure that's good. All right. There you go. That's what I was expecting. The other one was definitely bad. Weird. Yeah, it said it had well, another, had like, good, month and a half. Well, I had a good swallow of it. How much do you bad? I took a little milk? sip. Do we need to drink to get, like, I first? don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. All right. All right. So, what am I going to do? This guy. You want me to do one for you if you want to hold it up? Yeah. I'll do a flat. All right. Perfect. All right. I love this stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I'm being very cautious with this one. Well, I'm glad I got that new bottle at home. You know, it's mm. not, it doesn't have unbearable heat, mm. but once the heat gets there, it's the hottest one. Mm. Yeah. Oh, but I just love that flavor. Mm. To me, mm -hmm. I've never had a hot sauce that tastes like that. Mm-hmm. It's real unique. It's like, oh yeah, my mouth's on fire now. It's unique. Mm -hmm. It just has a flavor that, man, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's got, um, it's sweet and savory. Mm-hmm. For sure. I really good. like it. It's too hot for me, personally. So, when I eat it, mm -hmm. I don't usually eat a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2019 date on it. Oh, sure it's fine. mustard. Oh yeah. Good memory. This is just gonna be tasty. It's got a 2019 date on it. Yeah. Uh oh. No, I mean that's when it was made. Oh, he scared me. I was like, two bad things in one night. It's fine. I'm gonna wipe my brow. Well, McDonald's hot mustard here. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> I can't enjoy it though because my tongue is on fire. I get it. It still tastes really good. I taste like burning. I taste burning. That was it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that was pretty good tasting. That was. Mm -hmm. We've we got some new interesting sauces. Mm -hmm. mm. You're sweating. Next time we make steaks, we'll definitely want to try it a little the bit. The Prolic? I want to get that 
steak sauce feeling that you got. Mm -hmm. to see how it tastes on some meat. Mm -hmm. Also, I think that would make a great marinade. It would be a bit expensive for a marinade, but, mm -hmm. you know, am yeah. I sweating? I think of all the hot sauces, that was one of the cheaper ones, too. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Mm -hmm. The ingredients in the aardvark. What do we got? What are the ingredients? So, first of all, aardvark. The secret aardvark is a habanero hot sauce. Okay. Which, to me, one of the big ingredients in here and why it's so different is because it has carrots in it which i love huh you don't know that if if you don't know that and you eat it you're not going to pick that out but once you know it you're like okay yeah mm -hmm. so tomatoes tomatoes and fire roasted tomatoes tomatoes juice white wine vinegar carrots water yellow onions habanero peppers um mustard mm -hmm. Mustard seed, salt, turmeric, organic cane sugar, salt. Oh, well, they're breaking it down to categories. Modified food starch, garlic, sunflower or oil, herbs, and spices. Mm. No, not more peppers. Not more pep. It, no, not more peppers. I am sweating a little bit. Uh, yeah. Pretty sweaty. Mm-hmm. It was only because of the aardvark. The secret aardvark, that's funny that that's like my favorite one and that's the hottest one of all these that we tried. Mm-hmm. The thing about the secret aardvark is it's like, it's not unbearable, yeah. but it's hot enough to where if you kept eating it and sitting there and eating it, it's like, come on. Mm -hmm. They do make a green variety, which isn't as hot as the red one. It's not as hot at all. Okay. And it tastes a little bit different. Has a little bit of a sweeter flavor to me. Does it have to be? Does it have carrots? I don't know. I think they use a different type of... I think they use habanero and something else. <clears throat> Might be tomatillos. Um, I didn't like the green one as much as I like the red one. The red one's the standard. I'm stoked. I have a new bottle waiting for me at mm -hmm. home. This is my second bottle that I've gone through. This stuff is great. Nice. I think Joe McKinney is the original person that told me about it. Anyways, well, I don't know. What else do we got? I think that's it. That's it. That was delicious. All right. 